to buy. Right, first of all, we're going to take some of these comments. First, we're going to bet. This says, I think all the inside linebacker counters should give Robert Press on I like what he did last season when given the opportunity to play. He's a big pack, too. You stand next to him in the locker room, holy cow. He's a beast. Yeah, he, could, he, he looks like an outside linebacker. We're moving him inside. He's a big guy. From Iris now, with the new NFL concussion policy, there's more reason than ever to hang on to Flynn. One hard hit, and A-Rod is on the sideline. Someone else has asked if there was a chance that Flynn could be moved before the end of camp. No way. They move move past Flynn. We agree? I agree. All right. Finally, I have a question. This one's from Morse Cowbell. And the question is, will the odds CC moves Flynn by the end of training camp? Johnny, I think the odds for that are zero. We saw what happened last year? Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, I think I was showing up in a concussional way. There's no way that that's going to happen. Uh, Matt Flynn, is a, I'm sure he's had a lot of And Graham is starting to move up a little bit, but he says he's not nowhere near where it's Yeah. All right. Well, we have our interactive segment every night. Of course, participants from around the country, around the world at times. It's global. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Packers Nation, truly nationwide. Tonight, we're checking in with Chief Ben Stevie at home of Packers blogger Aaron Walker, who joins us live from New York City. Aaron, how are you? How are you? I'm doing well, dude. Thanks a lot for having me on. Hey, no problem on our uh, broadband network. And uh, Aaron, tell us a little bit about you know, your website, Cheesehead TV. Obviously, very popular. You get a lot of, uh, a lot of hits on that, some great writing on that as well. What was the genesis of this, and what is this kind of voice you get? Well, it started, I guess, uh, four or five years ago. My partner and I, uh, Corey Benke, started Cheesehead TV. It kind of started as a podcast. Uh, Corey came to me one day and said, we should do a podcast, and I said, what's a podcast? <laughs> uh, simply because all our friends were sick and tired of listening to us argue about the Packers all the time. Uh, and then I started writing, and then the thing just kind of coalesced into a website, and uh, kind of just taken off since then. And it just allows us to connect with fans, like you've been saying, all over the world. Uh, who are passionate about the Packers, which we most certainly are. Yeah, and now you don't argue with this story. Now you argue with lots of people. So that's good news. <laughs> that is true. It's broad your mind. Uh, well, now, what are folks talking about? Because, you know, we've got the things that we're talking about at PCR. We've got the things that we've got on our online blog. What are the worries that you've been hearing from Packers fans uh, around the country still early in camp? Well, you know, I think the big thing coming out of the lockout and into training camp the overriding concern has been uh, uh, the complacency factor, the idea that the guys may be satisfied with being champions and uh, not have the drive to repeat. I think it's, you know you saw a little bit of that coming into play last night with Mike's comment in regards to the sloppiness from the offense. Um, but I don't really think that's a, a, a genuine concern. I think people just need something to worry about, especially Packer fans. Mm -hmm. um, but I think most people are really excited for the season and fully expect the Packers to make a run at uh, another Super Bowl championship. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we, there were obviously uh, different views around the country. And, uh, you know, we hear we get to deal with the guys all the time, Aaron Rodgers and Clay Matthews. Uh, obviously, a big favorite, uh, Aaron Rodgers, one of them, seems to be like, uh, is he the kind of focus of the uh, Packers fan love that you're, that you're getting? <laughs> yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's the quarterback. He's a pretty boy, so he gets uh, he gets all the adulation, which is which is understandable. He's great. He's a Super Bowl MVP, and he, he deserves all the recognition he's got. I mean, he's really uh, paid his dues, so to speak, sitting on the bench for three years and then having that rough uh, first season as a starter. Uh, not all of it, you know, all of his making, but uh, he's really earned. You know, he's earned the pellets that are on his wall, and now he's uh, he's kind of uh, the king of the hill in Green Bay as well. He should be. Um, but you know, I think fans are really connected to this team in general. I mean. Guys like Greg Jennings and uh, you know, Joe Michael Finley. Um, you know, I just think uh, the Packers do a really good job of connecting with the community. They always have. Uh, and this team in, in particular, the guys on it, have done a, a great job of uh, being accessible to the fans and, uh, you, know, you know, letting the fans in, in a little bit and letting them know, you know, what their lives are like, especially with the advent of Twitter and Facebook and social networking in general. Uh, the guys really reach out to fans, and that's, you know, it's appreciated. Aaron Nagel from Cheesehead TV. We'll be checking with you throughout the training camp as we kind of get that pulse of Packers Nation. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate you joining us. Not a problem. Thanks a lot for having me. All right. Thanks so much. Uh, uh, yeah, it's interesting to see what, what all everybody's talking about all across the country. I've mean, talked to guys from England and Holland and but from all over the world. That is awesome. Thanks, Aaron. All right. Well, still to come, we'll take a look at the.